Hi everyone, this is Dr. C, and this is the Home Ribbon Part 2 in Microsoft Word, Editing a Letter. Here's our letter, and I've enlarged it so you can see it. Last time we changed the font, we changed the style, we bolded, and we also justified it. We have it centered in the, in the, at the top, right justified for the date, and left justified for the address, for our sender, our, excuse me, our recipient. So now, what if we wanted to create styles for this, okay? So now we're looking at the right-hand side of the menu. And you see right now I have no, no style, no spacing selected, right? If I hover over the, these styles, look what happens to my content. It starts changing like all of those styles, but I don't like them. So if I like this style, I've, I've set it up, maybe I want to save it. So I'm going to right-click here. Notice I'm right-clicking on my selection. I'm going to Styles. And I'm going to select a save selection as a new quick style, okay? So it was a right click, save selection as a new quick style, and now I'm going to name it, and I'm going to call this uh, letterhead, I'll just call it letterhead for now, okay? And then I want to save the other style too, my normal one over here. I'll select that, right click, select styles, the, that drop down arrow there and I'm going to come down to save selection as a new quick style and I'm going to call this one um, letter I'll just call it letter okay now you notice I have letterhead and letter up here at the top <laughs> so if I change my mind about this style notice what happens right I could set it back to plain or I can have it back in the center as the top of the letterhead okay so if I write a new letter, I can easily format it too, right? So what would happen, let's say I grabbed all of this content and I made it no spacing and plain, see there? And let's say I made this um, normal or no spacing and plain. All right, to get back to my style, I highlight my letterhead and I click on letterhead, right? For here, I could click on letter, and then I click on the right justify to put the date over to the right. For the rest of this, I could select the rest of my letter. Well, actually, I'm going to drop my cursor right before the M in my, scroll down, hold down the shift key on my keyboard, and left click after the zero. So I've selected all of the letter except for my letterhead and my date, and I'm going to select letter format and it's left justified so that's fine and that looks good now I could look at other styles way over here on the right or I could use the drop down arrow to look at all the styles I've saved but I like this one so I'm going to leave it as it is but if I wanted to change something like let's say I didn't like the calligraphy and I wanted to change the font or bold it or something, I would right click on my style and I would say modify. And then I could come in and change this stuff up here, the font, the size, and the style. Or I could come down to format and change how the paragraph looks. What if I needed double spacing or one and a half spacing? Or I needed to change the language. There's a lot of things you can do on the home ribbon. Well, last but not least, let's look at the far right side and we have change styles and you'll notice um, there's a lot of different styles in here. You can go to different fonts very quickly. So if you needed a particular style, check that out. And lastly, the find command is over here on the left, but you can also bring up a box for it. It's looking up Fido right now because I typed Fido. But if I instead had, had typed in um, best, you'll notice it goes to best. And if I looked for some other content, like let's say I looked for dog, okay? It's going to highlight every version of dog. And I can click through to pull them all up and take a look at them. The replace command allows me to change it. It has this pop-up. And what if all of a sudden, Fido became a cat, right? 
<laughs> all of a sudden I could do replace all and notice I have two replacements and now I have cats. If I change my mind, and let's face it, Fido's a dog, right? I can always come up here to the undo and click there and boom, I'm back to dogs. Well, this has been Dr. C with a quick look at the home ribbon part two and some of the cool things you can do with styles. Have a great day and I'll see you next time on the next video.